All right, here's a video review for Zoids Wild ZW01 Wild Liger, and I referred to him as Liger Zero in the previous one just because I'm used to like he has that Liger look, and uh, I've seen all the different variations on Liger Zero in the model kit, so <laughs> I was just wrong. But it's Wild Liger. Uh, he's also part of the Freedom Team. Uh, Death Metal is the bad guys, and uh, he's a fun kit. He's a he's the same price as uh, Ganatos and. Uh, has the same like the core that you build the body around is the same uh and it looks like that may be the case with all of them i haven't built any others yet i'm trying to get my hands on a Gracchiosaurus because those everything else i've been able to pick up since the release uh, i did pre-order ganatus but uh Gracchiosaurus just sold out everywhere so hopefully i'll get one of him soon i'm definitely looking forward to stego sage and the triceratops that's coming out um there's a death rex there's a whole a bunch of cool stuff they've announced for wave three uh, coming in the fall, and I'm looking forward to those. But it's a fun build. It didn't take too, too long. Like I said, you get you have the core, and you, used to, you don't have to cut the pieces off the sprues. They're not as involved builds as some of the older Zoid model kits, but there's still uh, a lot of little pieces to put together, and it's, and it's quite fun. Uh, he runs off, unlike the smaller wind-up ones, he runs off also off a AAA battery like Ganatos does. And uh, see, he's angry. Got his cool little mane here. Little pilot sitting up here. I haven't detailed them yet. I'm, I may pick, take the armor off and do some detail work on them at some point. But he turns on his, his posability wise here in, mo in in his powered off mode is basically just his tail moves up and down. You can kind of make him chomp, but that's a part of the gimmick we'll see here in a minute. So you just turn him on and he walks forward. He moves a little faster than uh, Ganon does. See, there he's going. And as he, as he moves, his head kind of lowers, his mane pops out, and then after a few steps, his uh, attack weapons come up. This should actually be on top of... Every now and then this will flip, but it should be like that. So it lifts up the uh, attack blades, and you'll see he'll chomp uh, in between attacks, which is kind of cool. I don't know why he's not chomping anymore. His head should be chomping. All right, let's go ahead and reset this and try it again, because his... His mouth should open and chomp once it pops. And after a, few, after a few seconds of stepping forward, you see those pop up. And there you see, there he's got his chomp action. His head chomps and his uh, blades attack, and he'll just keep going. Now, I, I've seen the video for Gracchiosaurus, and like his weapon activates, slams a few times, and then dis deactivates, which is kind of cool. But yeah, um... Fun little build, fun little toy. I'm looking forward to more of them. Like I said, especially the, uh, oh, you have to reset this by lifting his head up, which brings this whole thing back, and that allows the lever to latch the blades there on his back. But he's cool looking just for display, and, uh, and a fun little battery-operated gimmick. So there it is, Zoid's Wild, Wild Liger.